Hey, hey, Girl Scouts. My name is Rachel Wells. I am a program and partnerships manager with the Girl Scouts of Western Ohio, which basically means that I work with community partners to put on really cool and fun events for our girls. So today I have some really exciting stuff to show you, but first I want to show you where my council is located. So I work for the Girl Scouts of Western Ohio, which is located right here in Ohio. So you guys can see Ohio here on the map. Uh, and we are the left-hand side of the state. So we start all the way there up in Toledo, and we go all the way down into Cincinnati with a little bit of Indiana too. So today, I'm gonna show you guys how to do leaf rubbing. Now this comes from our Brownie Outdoor Art Creator badge, but anybody can do this and join on in. So all you need is just four simple things. So the first thing you're gonna need, of course, is some kind of leaf. I have a couple over here. These quite didn't quite make the cut because they're a little bit too curly, but this is the perfect time for you and your family to go outside and explore, look at all the different things that you can find in nature and grab some leaves for uh, you to make some really cool art with. The next thing that you'll need are gonna be crayons. So I have a couple of different colors because I made a couple of different drawings. Um, you can choose whatever colors you like, but what I do recommend doing is to take the outside of the crayon off so that wrapping because it gives you a really good surface area to make the leaf rubbings with, which is what we really want. Um, if you press down hard on it, it's, it's really not gonna give you the effect that you want. We want a piece of paper. I have a couple of different pieces of paper here. I just cut some computer paper in half, which is actually what I recommend. I don't recommend any kind of fancy art paper, um, just because it's a little bit too thick and you won't get a good rubbing. So I cut it in half so I can do a whole bunch of different um, art pieces with it. And the final thing that I recommend you get, well, I guess final two things, um, is some kind of work surface to work on. Um, one of the most important things as an artist is to prepare your workspace. Uh, you can use a desk, you can use a table, any kind of hard surface. And we really want it to be a hard surface uh, because that's how the leaf rubbing will work the right way. So I have my leaf right here. I taped it to it. I kind of noticed that if you tape it down, it's gonna have the leaf, uh, the tape imprint behind the leaf, but that's okay. Um, but I do actually recommend having a piece of tape at the top of your paper. I have a clip right here, but a piece of tape is perfect. So you can lift and see the leaf underneath if you have to make any adjustments or if you wanna do some really cool effects and move your leaf around. So if you guys are ready, let's get started. So you can see that I have my prepared work surface right here. I have my scrap of paper that I'm going to be doing my leaf rubbing on and I have it secured right here with this clip. You can always use a piece of tape for this purpose. Um, it just really holds your paper in place and makes the rubbing easier to do. So I've got a crayon and the way that we wanna hold this crayon right here for our leaf etching, so we just wanna put it down like that. We wanna drag it across and you can kind of see the leaf is coming through. How cool is that? And we're really just starting to see it. Remember, we wanna make sure that our leaf is bottom side up. That way we're getting all of that really cool detail that's inside of that leaf. And you can kind of see it coming together there. Super cool. Get a little bit more detail. You can adjust your crayon as you need to. And just like that. Want a little bit more detail down here. And don't be afraid to press hard for something like this. Um, you know, don't go over an area too much if you start to see too much color being deposited. But if you really want that detail, be sure to press down. So just like that. And for a really cool effect, what we're going to do is we're going to take a slightly darker shade. I'm going to take a green like this. And what I like to do with my crayons is I'm doing it with the green really fast, is I like to, just like you saw with that blue crayon, I just peel the outside of it. So I have a really big work surface for when I do this. You know, you want a lot of area. If you press down on a point, it's gonna create too hard of a line and you're really not gonna get that detail. So we're taking our slightly darker color, really gently just going over those big areas, you know. I just want to deposit color on the center of the leaf. So 
So get some really cool details in there, some different colors. So that outline is just green. And this is really cool because it's starting to look almost like a printmaking technique where you're layering those different colors and getting different effects. And it's that easy, guys. So how did your leaf rubbings turn out? Did you guys have a lot of fun doing these? One of the cool things that you can do with your leaf rubbings now is to create a gallery showing with your family. Um, show off the leaf rubbings that you all did together, hang them up on the wall, be your own art critic. Um, you know, talk about the differences between the leaves and the differences between the pieces. What you can also do with your leaf rubbing is go ahead and get yourself a full-size piece of either computer paper or construction paper. And then we're just gonna fold that hamburger style right in half to make a card. So you just glue it right to the front of there, and then you have a really gorgeous card. You can also turn this into a little booklet if you take more pieces of construction paper and fold them hamburger style and put them right inside. So some really cool things that you can do with it. So after we try something new and do a new activity, we always like to think about uh, what we did. So I want you guys to consider a couple of things. Was this activity hard? Did you have fun with it? What was your favorite part? And some other things to think about too. What did you notice on your walk earlier? Did you hear birds? Did you notice anything coming out of the ground? Um, you know, any new flowers, any new plants? Um, what was the differences between your leaves? And what colors did you like and why? So I would love it if you guys would share it with us, uh, share your drawings. So ask an adult or caregiver to go to at Girl Scouts on social media and post your pictures. We would love to see it. Um, if you would also like to find some more activities just like this one to keep you busy, uh, please go to our YouTube page at Girl Scouts of the USA um, and look for some more cool videos. I look forward to um, you guys trying out these activities and I hope you had fun. Thank you.